friends, this video on motion in a plane. Hello friends, this video on motion in a plane part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 23 before going ahead with part 24. Now let me will try to evaluate or try to arrive at an expression to find the maximum height of a projectile that is the maximum height up to which the projectile can go. Maximum height of a projectile is nothing but the maximum height that is reached by a projectile. Now when time is equal to Tm that is time of maximum height then the height reached is maximum. This is very obvious right? So let us suppose if this is the projectile so this is the maximum height reached by the projectile. So now we want to find out an expression for this height. So what do you think is this height? This height is nothing but the position, change of position or the distance travelled along the y axis. That means at t is equal to tm when time is equal to the time of maximum height. In that case the value of y should represent the maximum height. So when time is equal to Tm, in that case whatever value of y we get that should be the value of the maximum height, right? So we know the expression for y is u sin theta into t. So instead of t it will be Tm minus half g t square. So here again it will be Tm square, right? So now we will put the value of Tm here. What is Tm? Tm is equal to u sin theta by g. So again here also I will put minus half g into u sin theta by g whole square. So this will be equal to u square sin square theta by g minus half into g u square sin square theta divided by g square. So this g will get cancelled with one of these g's. So this will be u square sin square theta by g minus half u square sin square theta by g. So this is equal to half u square sin square theta by g. So this would be the maximum height that is covered by the projectile. So that the, so the maximum height that a projectile can reach is nothing but u square sin square theta divided by 2g. Now we will talk about the horizontal range of a projectile. What do you think would be horizontal range of a projectile? It is nothing but the maximum horizontal distance that the projectile can cover during its motion is the horizontal range. That is the total horizontal distance traveled by the projectile from its initial position to the final position. Let us suppose this is a projectile. So when I talk of maximum height, it means this height. So when I talk of horizontal range, it means the maximum distance that it covers horizontally. So this is its initial point. This is the final point. So this distance is the horizontal range. So when I talk of the horizontal range, that means what will be the time to cover this horizontal range? That will be equal to the time of flight. You remember what is time of flight? It was the total time since the body traveled from initial position to final position. So by evaluating an expression for horizontal range, the time will be equal to the time of flight. Right. And the velocity, what would be the velocity along the horizontal direction? See the velocity along this direction is u. So what would be the velocity along horizontal direction if this angle is theta? The velocity would be u cos theta. So we, are, we evaluated the time and velocity along horizontal direction. So now what would be the range that is the horizontal distance travelled? The horizontal distance travelled will be equal to velocity into time in the horizontal direction. So what is velocity? Velocity is u cos theta and what is time? Time is the time of flight. Now we will write down the expression for time of flight. 
we know that time of flight is nothing but 2u sin theta by g. Therefore, we get this is equal to u square into 2 sin theta cos theta divided by g. Now, from trigonometry, we know 2 sin theta cos theta. We, from trigonometry, we know that 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to sin 2 theta. So, we can write it as u squared sin 2 theta divided by g. So, this is the range of the projectile. So, this is the horizontal range of a projectile. Now, the range is maximum. When will the range be maximum? The range is maximum when sin 2 theta has maximum value. That is when sin 2 theta is equal to 1. That means when theta is equal to 45 degree. That means when you throw a projectile at an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal, it covers the maximum possible range. Right? So, we studied projectile. We saw the equations of motion for projectile. We saw the nature of path of a projectile. And we learned certain terminologies related to projectile. Like the maximum height that a projectile can reach. The maximum horizontal range of a projectile. The time it takes to reach the maximum height. The total time of flight of a projectile. And all these things are of great significance when you come to start solving problems. So now we will look at certain problems. Now let us look at problem 1. It says the ceiling of a long hall is 25 meters high. What is the maximum horizontal distance that a ball thrown with a speed of 40 meter per second can go without hitting the ceiling of the hall? That means the ceiling of the hall represents nothing but the maximum height. Since the ceiling is 40 meters high, that means the ball cannot go beyond that. So let us suppose the ball is thrown with an initial speed u is equal to 40 meter per second. Now the ceiling is 25 meter high. That means the maximum height that the ball can go is 25 meters. Right? So, we have to calculate the maximum horizontal distance. That means we have to calculate the maximum horizontal range. So, what do we know? Range is equal to, so we have to calculate the value of range. Now, we already know that range is equal to u square sine 2 theta divided by g. So, to calculate range, we should know the value of u and theta. u we already know. But what is the value of theta? So first we will calculate the value of theta making use of this maximum height. We know that maximum height is equal to h is equal to u square sin square theta divided by 2g. Or we can say maximum height is 25. So this is 25 is equal to 40 square into sine square theta divided by 2 into 9.8 or we can say sine square theta is equal to 0 0.306 or we can say theta is approximately equal to 33.6 degrees. So this is the value of theta which we get from here. Now using this value we can find out the value of range so, range will be equal to u square sin 2 theta divided by g. So, this will be equal to 40 square into sin 2 into 33.6 divided by 9.8. So, this will be equal to 1600 into sin 67.2 degrees divided by 9.8. So this comes out to be 150.53 meters. 
So this is the value of the maximum horizontal distance that the ball can cover. Fine. So here we did nothing. We simply used the formula and put the values on that. Now let us look at the second problem. It says a cricketer can throw a ball to a maximum horizontal distance of 100 meters. That means the maximum horizontal distance is 100 meters. So this is the maximum horizontal distance which is 100 meter. How much high above the ground can the cricketer throw the ball? So till what height he can throw the ball? So here it is just the reverse. You have to calculate the maximum height. So here the range is given as 100 meters and you have to calculate the maximum height. Now we know that range is equal to u square sine 2 theta divided by g. Right? So this is equal to 100 meters. We also know that the range is maximum. It says that the horizontal distance is the maximum horizontal distance. We know that range is maximum only when sine 2 theta has its maximum value and the maximum value of sine 2 theta would be 1 that is theta is equal to 45 degree right that means when range is maximum in that case sine 2 theta will be equal to 1 so we can say that u square by g is equal to 100 meters right now we have to calculate the maximum height we also know the maximum height is equal to u square sine square theta divided by 2g or we can write it as u square by g u square by 2g into sine square theta. We know that theta is equal to 45 degree and u square by g is equal to 100 meters. So 1 by 2 into 100 into sine square theta that is sine square 45 degree. So this will be equal to 1 by 2 into 100 into 1 by 2. So this will be equal to, therefore the maximum height that the ball can reach is 25 meters. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.